And the last part of alpha halogenation we'll look at here is what's called the HVZ reaction, or held volhard zielinski reaction. And in this case, we're doing alpha halogenation of a carboxylic acid. And uh, carboxylic acids aren't usually acidic enough uh, at the alpha carbon to actually do alpha halogenation, so we have to kind of get a little crafty here. And the first thing we do is we actually add PBr3. And if you recall, with a carboxylic acid, PBr3 will actually convert the carboxylic acid into an acid bromide. And whereas the carboxylic acid is not all that acidic at the alpha hydrogen, the acid bromide is much more acidic at the alpha hydrogen. And so that's where with Br2, you now get alpha halogenation taking place. And so you've accomplished it. But you want to finish this off by converting your acid bromide back into a carboxylic acid. And if you recall, the acid chlorides and the acid bromides, the acid halides in general, were the most reactive carboxylic acid derivatives. And if you simply add water, it converts them back into a carboxylic acid. Now, the alpha halogen still stays there. It's not reactive in this sense. It's just the acid halide that gets converted back into an OH, uh, going back to a carboxylic acid.